Okay, so you want to access open web UI from other computers on your network, but you're not quite sure how. That's what we're going to learn by the end of this video. But before we get started, make sure you have open UI set up and running on your computer. If you need help walking through how to get open web UI set up on your computer, check out the video down in the description below. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm back and I've got open web UI pulled up here in my browser here. And if we come up to the top, you can see I have navigated to localhost 3000 here. Now that's the default port that you will host your open UI instance from. But what we want to do is have the ability to access this from another computer. Now, just to make sure that everything's functioning, let's just test it out, make sure everything is working correctly. So I am going to say, write me some sample Python code and make sure everything is functioning correctly. Okay, so we've got our output. We can see that open web UI is functioning for us. Now, let's go about the process of actually being able to access this from another computer. But in order to do that, we need to know what is the IP address that this is actually being hosted on because localhost is only accessible from our local computer here. So let me jump over into the terminal here and find out what IP address I have for this computer here. Now, the directions on a Mac and Windows are slightly different, but I'll walk through how to get your IP on both a Mac and a Windows. All right, I'm gonna jump over into the terminal. Okay, I've got the terminal pulled up here and now I'm going to run the following command here. I'm going to type in if config and I am going to type rep. And this allows me to grab a certain portion of text. So just know if config on a Mac allows you to pull networking information about your Mac. All right, so I'm gonna run that command here and we can see it's pulled back four different IPs. On the first IP here, 127.0.0.1, it's called your loopback address. And this is the equivalent of local host. So we will not be using this. This is only accessible on your local computer. Now you'll see two other IPs down here. Ignore those. Those may not show up on your computer. I have some virtual machines running. So those are the IPs coming from that virtual network. The IP that I want to pay attention to here is this second IP, this 192.168.20.61. That is the local IP that has been assigned to my MacBook here. So that's the IP that I wanna use in order to access this on other computers that are on the exact same network that this MacBook is running on. Because this is where Open Web UI is running. Therefore, if someone wants to access Open Web UI on my network, they will need this IP address to access. So I'm gonna copy this IP address here and hop back over into the browser. Okay, I got my browser pulled back up. I've got Open Web UI pulled up here. You can see we're still at localhost. 3000. Now I copied that IP address and I am going to paste that IP in here now. And I'm going to use that same port for 3000. Hit enter. It's asking me to log in. So I'll be right back after I'm done logging in. So you can see I have now logged in here with the IP address that belongs to this computer here. But I'm going to jump over into a Windows computer now to show that we can actually log in from another computer on our network. I'll be back once I log into my Windows PC. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm logged into a Windows computer. And if you look up top here, you can see I have navigated to the IP address of my local MacBook. And we can see that I have a login screen here. Now imagine you're wanting to share this with someone else in your house and they want to access their own instance here. I'm gonna go down here and sign up for a new account here. So. Go ahead and click sign up, enter your name. I'm gonna put demo user. And then this email here, all of this here stays locally. So none of this information leaves outside of your local instance of open web UI. So you don't even really need to use a real email address here. And then you can put in a password here. So I'll just do password and I will create an account. Now you can see here, it says account activation pending, contact your admin. So you'll need to go and approve this user's account that has now set up an account on your local network instance of Open Web UI. I'm gonna jump over into the admin section and approve this user. Okay, I'm back and I'm logged into my admin account that I originally set up when I set up Open Web UI. And I'm gonna go back down here where my name is and I am going to go to the admin panel here. Now you can see I have my admin account here and then you can see I have this account pending. And this is the account that I signed up with on my Windows computer here. So I will need to click on this pending 
and change this user into a regular user. I can also click again and it will change him to an admin. Now I'm gonna click it again here and change this user back to a regular user. All right, so this user has now been activated. So I'm gonna jump back over to the Windows computer and show you me logging in with that IP address from that computer. Okay, I'm back logged into my Windows computer and we should be able to just click here and click try again and see if that has now taken effect. And you can see I am now logged in as demo user. So I can go up to the top here, select a model. So I'm gonna select Llama 3. I'm going to say, write some sample Java and see what kind of output we get. Here. Okay, so you can see it printing out output here for me. I am logged in as the demo user. I am not logged in as my Devi admin account here. And I'm on a completely separate computer on my network. So this is exactly how you would go about accessing open web UI from another computer. Now I did say I would show you how to get your IP address and I'm gonna pull up the command prompt and I am going to type in IP config. So on Mac, it's if config. On Windows, it's IP config. Now I hit enter here and you can see the IP address for this computer is 192.168.20.240. So if you had open web UI set up on this computer, then that is the IP that you would use. So now you know how to access open web UI from your local network on any other computer. I hope this helped answer some people's questions who were asking about how you go about doing this. Also, hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, hit like, subscribe down below. And I try to do videos like this on a weekly basis. So if you'd like to see something in particular, feel free to let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get something pushed out. So again, thanks for hanging out to the end of this video and see you in the next one.